welcome to my channel in this video lecture we are going to discuss how to draw the trellis diagram for a given encoder this shows a example for convolutional encoder in this we have a constraint length equal to 3 we have a 3 means we will be having a given number of bits here 3 and similarly g2 g3 whatever you have the number of bits will be 3 and uh, another g2 also 101 we have the polynomial and constraint length is 3 and uh, this indicates the connection for example here we have a 111 indicates all these three are connected and uh, we have a g2 this again this is connected and third one is also connected when i come to the similarly a g2 we have the first connection but second there is no connection hence it is a zero and the third is a connection again hence it is one if a g1 g2 are given you should be able to draw this diagram or if a diagram is given you should be able to write g1 and g2 and uh, for every one input bit we have a two output bits we this and this two output bits for every one input bits in many textbooks in many ppts you will find like this also diagram in some books they take this as a m1 m2 m0 like that or sometimes they take this as an input directly and then they write m1 and m2 this also same and uh, now we will discuss how to write a trellis diagram for this given encoder try to understand how we get a output bits so this connection what we are doing is xor now input whatever i give that itself is a m1 because in some diagrams they simply remove this the short circuit and they write m1 and m2 in some books they write uh, together m1 m2 m3 they divide all are same only and remember here all the inputs is nothing but a m1 only now output say this is a v1 is a v2 v1 is given by xoring all the three similarly i have to xor m1 m2 m3 m1 is nothing but a input now for all this combination say initially i have 0 0 and input is 0 0 0 input is 1 1 0 input is 0 like that for all these combination when i xor all the three bits i'll get a v1 similarly when i xor first and last bit i'm going to get a v2 you can pause you can go through this now before we go for a next table and output table try to remember we have taken m1 m2 m3 m1 is nothing but an input only and uh, m2 and m3 represents the states that's why i have taken s1 and s2 from next slide onwards instead of m1 m2 m3 i'm going to write input s1 and s2 the next state and output table in this we have g1 equal to 111 g2 equal to 101 this is needed for our output table let us come to the next table first now i have a m1 m2 m3 or i can write m1 is nothing but an input this m2 m3 i can write as s1 and s2 just to tell it as a state 0 0 is a present state now when the input is 1 what is the oh, next state that we are going to discuss it. so try to understand now present state is 0 0 input becomes 0 what is the next state next state means simply shift right so when i shift right this will go and only these two will move right side so present state is 0 0 when i give input 0 and when i give the clock to shift register right shift means the next state will be 0 0 similarly let us consider now input is 1 when i right shift what is the state becomes 1 0 similarly let us consider the present state is 0 1 now if an input becomes 0 what is the next state so right shift the time this one will go this will become 0 simply this will 0 come here this 0 will come here we will get a 0 0 so hence the next state is 0 0 if this becomes input 1 what is the next state those who are not understanding simply remember this itself will become the next state 
use your common sense because when I shift it, this will go, these two will shift this side. Next, it is given by these two bits only. The same thing we are going to find here. That is a next state. Similarly, when the input is 1, 0, can you tell? When the input is present state is 1, 0, input is 0, the next state is 0, 1. Similarly, if it is a 1, next state is 1, 1. Because these two I have to consider, that's all. Similarly, can you try last one? Present state is 1, 1. Input is 0, what is the next state? Yeah, correct. It is a 0, 1. Why? I have to consider these two. And if it is input is 1, then what is the next state? Consider these two. 1, 1. Now, similarly, we are going to discuss the output table. In the output table also, uh, these two are 0, 0. Input may be 0 or 1. What is the output? V1, V2. V1 is given by XORing all the bits. V2 is given by XORing first and last bits. Now, let us consider input is 0. When I XOR all the three, 0. When I XOR first and last, I will get a 0. That is why output will be 0, 0. So, if the input is 1, XOR all the three, output is V1 is 1. XOR first and last, V2 will be 1. Similarly, I have to fill remaining all these entries. So, present now 0, 1 I have and input becomes 0. XOR all the three, write it. XOR first and last, write it. Why? These connections are like that only. So, now the output becomes 1, 1. Similarly, when the input is 1, what is the output we will get? XOR all the three and XOR first and last will get 0, 0. Mod 2 addition we do. Huh? Don't say 2 is the answer. 1 plus 1. Always it is a mod 2. 1 plus 1 is equal to always 0. Similarly, try remaining 2. You can pause and try. Then you can check the answer. So, output will be 1, 0. When the input is 1, then output will be 0, 1. Then similarly, when the state is 1, 1, if the input is 0, output will be 0, 1. And if an input is 1, then output will become 1, 0. This is a next state table, whatever we have discussed so far. This is the output table. Please pause here or go back. Try to understand these two, how we got. This is a state transition diagram. And this can be drawn using a next state table and output table. Try to understand the present or a current state is 0, 0. And if the input is 0, the next state will be 0, 0. And what is the output? It is a 0, 0. So that is given here. The present state is 0, 0. If the input is 0, the output will be 0, 0. The next state will be 0, 0. Now, current state is 0, 0. If the input is 1, what will be the next state? S2. S2 represent what? 1, 0. So hence, it will go from S0 to S2 when the input is 1. What is the output? It is mentioned here that we are writing on output. When the input is 1, it will move from S0 to S2 and the output is 1, 1 when the input is 1. Like that, using this input and next state table, output table, it is possible to construct the state transition diagram. This represents the input. This slash what we write is a output. Similarly, you can take a last one more example. S3. It is a 1, 1. So, when I have 1, 1, if the input is 0, what is the next state? S1. So, it will move to the S1. What is the output? 0, 1. It is shown in this state transition diagram. Now, using this next state table, output table, how to draw a trolley diagram, we are going to discuss in this slide. We represent 0 by dotted line and 1 by solid line. In some books, they may interchange also. 0 is nothing but a straight line, 1 means a dotted. Try to understand how to draw it. Now, the number of combinations, what we get for 2 bits, because constant length I have 3, 1 is the input, remaining 2. I have a states when I consider. I have a how many combinations? Present state or next state, you see, only 4. So, those 4 I have written 0, 0. 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. And now let us consider 
in the beginning i have a zero input what is the next state for example next state table you see i have presently 0 0 and input is 0 what is the next state i have a next state is 0 0 hence i put a dotted line because dotted line indicates 0 what is the output i am going to get see here when the present state is 0 0 input is 0 output will be 0 0 that i am going to write on this particular bracket what the idea let us take so the same thing will be repeated uh, for all because here also i have a again 0 0 again here, here it will go to the 0 0 and input is 0 it is same therefore i simply write a uh, remaining lines and write the output now let us consider at this instant if i have a input 1 what will happen 0 0 is a present state input is a 1 the next state is what 1 0 i have to draw a line from here to 1 0 and what is the output sir you can observe the output here what is the output 1 1 draw it once if we draw a line we will get a parallel lines in a trolley diagram simply draw the remaining lines and write the output now again from this point if the input is 0 this is the present state is 1 0 now 1 0 if the input is 0 the next state what I get is 0 1 so therefore I put a one line up to the from this to 0 1 state what is the output you can observe here output is 1 0 that I am going to write it on that once you put a single line simply put a parallel line write the same output everywhere that's all now again come to this point sir if the input is 1 say i have a 1 here and what is the next state it is very easy to tell what is the next state i will get 1 1 so therefore i draw a line from here to here and what is the output so output when um, 1 0 is there and input is 1 that time the output will be 0 1 that time we will write on this once if i draw a line if i write output simply i write a parallel lines and write a oh. you can pause you can rewind try to understand again now come to this point now present state is 0 1 simply take a input is 0 what is the next state see here 0 1 so 0 1 input is 0 what is the next state 0 0 from here to 0 0 outline put a line what is the output it is there when the Present state is 1, 0, 1, 0. Input is 0. What is the output that I have to write? So, 0, 1. So, coming to the 0, 1. So, this side I have a 1, 1 that I am writing here. Once if I write a line, put a parallel line, put a output there also. Coming to this point back. If again if the input is 1, say 0, 1. Input is 1. What is the next state I will get? 1, 0. Put a 1 line. And what is the output? Similarly, check it. It is a 0, 0. Where present state is 0, 1. Present state is 0, 1. Input is what? 1. So that time output is what? 0, 0. The same thing is written here. Once if you write a line, if you write output, simply parallel lines you put and write the output. Again, coming to this 1, 1. If my input becomes 0, now 1, 1. If your input becomes 0, the next state is what? 0, 1. From here up to the 0, 1, I have to draw a line. What is that line? Dot it. Why? 0. What is the output? 0, 1. And simply put another parallel line. Now the last we have option. If a 1, 1 is there, state. If the input is 1, what is the next state? 1, 1. What is the output? 1, 0. That I have to draw. Write a output as 1, 0. Similarly, put another line. Write output as this is the way how to draw trellis diagram. If a G1 and G2 changes, sir, how the trellis looks? It will remain like this only for a three bits 110, 011, 101, something like that. But output may change, but trellis shape remains same. Now, this the trellis structure, whatever you have taken after the third stage it repeats you can take n stages but after this stage it will remain same and this trellis diagram can be used to 
encode the convolution codes when you use it for encoding purpose as well as for decoding. Actually, it is most useful for a decoding purpose. How to encode using a trellis? Very simple. Say if your input is 1010, all of us know 1 is represented by solid line. Go to the solid line like this 1. Then I need what? 0, go to the 0. Then 1, again come to the solid line. 0, go to the solid dotted line. Read these outputs, that's all. Say for example, 1. What is the output? So, 1, 1. Next, after that, I have 0 as a input. Hence, I have taken a dotted line. After 0, what I have? 1. After this, what I have to take? Sorted line. So, take output 1, 0. Again, next is I have a solid line. Take a output 0, 0. Last is what? I have a 0. 0 means from here, should I take a solid line or dotted line? 0 indicates all of us know dotted. And take this particular output written on the branch. Now, the output is what? We have 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. This is a 1, 1. I have 1, 0. I have 0, 0. Like that, 1, 0. It will continue. And usually, we take a additional zeros after all the input is over to flush the bits inside the memory. This is the way how we encode using a trellis. Thanks for watching this video. For more information, you can visit these links. If you like this, share with others. Subscribe this channel. Thank you.